For half a century, the Pratt & Whitney F-100 has been the beating heart of America's air superiority. It's powered the F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon to an undefeated combat record. It's thundered through the skies with the Thunderbirds, performing precision maneuvers mere inches apart. And now, in an unexpected twist of engineering innovation, it's about to embark on its most ambitious journey yet, the quest for hypersonic flight. The Legacy of Excellence The story begins in the late 1960s. The Vietnam War had exposed critical weaknesses in American fighter aircraft. The heavy, complex fighters of the time were struggling against smaller, more agile Soviet-designed MiGs. The U.S. Air Force needed something new. Not just an aircraft, but an engine that could redefine air combat. Enter Pratt & Whitney. In 1969, they began development of what would become the F-100, designated the F-100 PW-100. The goal was ambitious. Create an engine with unprecedented thrust-to-weight ratio, capable of powering a new generation of fighters that could outmaneuver and outperform anything in the sky. The development process was intense. Engineers pushed the boundaries of what was possible, creating an engine that could produce an astounding 25,000 pounds of thrust, nearly double that of its predecessors. But it wasn't just about raw power. The F-100 introduced sophisticated new technologies in material science, aerodynamics, and control systems. In 1974, the F-100 found its first home in the F-15 Eagle. With twin F-100 engines providing up to 29,000 pounds of thrust each, the Eagle became something unprecedented, a fighter that could accelerate while climbing vertically. It could reach speeds above Mach 2.5 and climb to 65,000 feet in under four minutes. Soviet pilots were stunned. Nothing they had could match it. The impact was immediate. In Israeli service, F-15s powered by F-100s began racking up victories. By 1979, they had achieved 13 kills without a single loss. But the real test would come in Operation Desert Storm. During those intense weeks of combat, F-15s demonstrated absolute air superiority, with F-100 engines proving reliable even in the harsh desert conditions. But the F-100's greatest triumph might have been its versatility. In 1976, it was chosen to power the F-16 Fighting Falcon. Engineers modified the engine, creating the F-100 PW-200, specifically tuned for single-engine operation. The result was revolutionary. An aircraft that could pull 9G turns, reach Mach 2, and still be affordable enough to become the backbone of air forces worldwide. The F-16's development proved challenging. Early prototypes suffered from engine airframe integration issues, but Pratt & Whitney engineers worked tirelessly, refining the F-100's control systems. Their solution was groundbreaking, the world's first digital electronic engine control in a military aircraft. This innovation gave pilots unprecedented control and reliability, earning the F-100 its nickname, the pilot's engine. Retired U.S. Air Force caller Dale Chaos Hetke remembers it well. When you needed that extra power, it was there instantly. I put the aircraft into afterburner and immediately had the thrust and maneuverability to get away from the enemy. That's something I'll always remember and be grateful for. I had that extra power when I needed it most. This reliability becomes most visible in the precise maneuvers of the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. Their F-16s dance through the sky, sometimes just inches apart, each movement requiring perfect engine response. As one Thunderbird pilot put it, when you're flying wingtip to wingtip, there's no room for uncertainty. The F-100 gives us that confidence. As the Cold War ended, the F-100's influence only grew. From the deserts of the Middle East to the Arctic Circle, from the Korean Peninsula to the Mediterranean, F-100-powered aircraft became the standard of excellence. The engine proved adaptable to any climate, any mission, any challenge. Today, the numbers tell an extraordinary story of longevity and success. Over 7,300 F-100 engines have been produced, with more than 3,300 still in active service. They've accumulated over 30 million flight hours, nearly three times more than any other fourth-generation fighter engine. 23 different air forces rely on the F-100, making it one of the most successful military engines ever created. But perhaps most remarkably, in five decades of service, no F-100-powered aircraft has ever been defeated in air-to-air -air combat. It's a record unmatched in the history of jet aviation, spanning multiple conflicts and countless engagements. For many pilots, the sound of those twin F-100s spooling up became the sound of air superiority itself. Now, 50 years after its first flight, you might expect the F-100 to be ready for retirement. But this engine, this masterpiece of American engineering, is about to begin an entirely new chapter. 
one that could rewrite the rules of aviation once again. The hypersonic frontier. For decades, the SR-71 Blackbird held the throne as the world's fastest air-breathing aircraft, reaching speeds of Mach 3.3 and setting a velocity record of 1,905 knots in 1976. But now, 50 years after its first flight, the F-100 engine is about to make history again. Not just by breaking the hypersonic barrier, but by making it reusable. At the heart of this ambition is Hermius, an Atlanta-based startup that's transforming the battle-proven F-100 into the foundation of a revolutionary propulsion system called Chimera. This ingenious engine combines the F-100 turbofan with an advanced ramjet system, creating what engineers call a turbine-based combined cycle engine. In November 2022, Hermius achieved a crucial milestone by successfully demonstrating the mode transition in ground testing, a feat accomplished in just 21 months and for only $18 million. The concept is elegant in its simplicity. At low speeds, the F-100 operates like a conventional jet engine, providing thrust for takeoff and initial acceleration. As the aircraft approaches Mach 2, the engine begins transitioning to ramjet mode, potentially pushing beyond Mach 5, fast enough to cross the continental United States in about 45 minutes. Unlike current hypersonic systems that can only be used once, this aircraft would take off from a normal runway, reach hypersonic speeds at altitudes up to 95,000 feet, and return to land again and again. In January 2024, Hermias began proving this wasn't just theory. Their first prototype, Quarter Horse MK0, completed all test objectives in just 37 days at the Arnold Engineering Development Complex in Tennessee. This non-flying, dynamic iron bird, designed and built in merely six months, validated critical systems including remote command and control taxiing, RF latency evaluation, and proper vehicle state during communication loss scenarios, setting the stage for their first flight vehicle. By August 2024, the chrome-colored quarter horse MK1 was conducting medium and high-speed taxi tests at Hermius's Jacksonville facility. Built in an astounding 204 days, compared to the industry standard of 1400, this first flying prototype is gathering crucial data through repeated test runs before its upcoming flight tests at Edwards Air Force Base. While still subsonic, MK-1's innovative systems are laying the groundwork for its hypersonic successors. Looking ahead, Quarter's MK-2 will push further into supersonic territory. Similar in size to an F-16, it will feature a delta wing with variable air intakes and a modified F-100 engine. A sophisticated pre-cooling system will chill the engine intake air before compression and combustion, allowing standard turbojet engines to operate at higher speeds with greater efficiency. This proprietary pre-cooling technology is critical for achieving sustained supersonic flight above Mach 2.5. But it's Quarter Horse MK3 that embodies the true revolution. Scheduled for 2026, this aircraft aims to surpass Mach 4 and potentially reach beyond Mach 5, transforming the F-100 from a fighter engine into the heart of history's first reusable hypersonic aircraft. At these speeds, it would be capable of flying at altitudes approaching 100,000 feet, no disposable boosters, no one-way missions, just sustainable, repeatable hypersonic flight. The progress is extraordinary. In less than five years, Hermius has gone from concept to cutting-edge testing, progressing at unprecedented speed through their rapid prototyping approach. By combining the F-100's half-century legacy of reliability with revolutionary new technology, they're not just breaking speed records, they're making hypersonic flight practical, reusable, and sustainable. The perfect match? In the world of hypersonic flight, every decision can mean the difference between success and failure. So why would Hermias choose a 50-year-old engine for such a futuristic project? The answer lies in what engineers call the perfect convergence, where proven reliability meets revolutionary potential. First and foremost, there's the F-100's extraordinary performance foundation. Without any modifications, this engine can already push aircraft to Mach 2, generating up to 29,000 pounds of thrust, faster than most modern fighter jets. Its exceptional thrust-to-weight ratio, refined over 30 million flight hours, provides the perfect launching point for hyper sonic ambitions. The sophisticated thermal management systems, including advanced thermal coatings and improved turbine cooling capabilities, offer crucial experience in handling the extreme temperatures that come with hypersonic flight. But raw performance is only part of the story. 
Perhaps even more valuable is the F-100's global infrastructure. Of the more than 7,300 F-100s produced, over 3,300 remain in active service across 23 countries. A worldwide network of maintenance facilities, including strategic centers like Reshaw, Poland, stands ready with trained technicians, established supply chains, and proven repair procedures. This infrastructure, which has supported nearly three times more flight hours than other fourth-generation fighter engines, means Hermes won't need to build this critical support structure from scratch. The F-100's design itself seems almost prescient. Its modular construction, revolutionary when introduced in 1972, makes it uniquely suited for adaptation to hypersonic flight. Each component can be modified or upgraded independently, allowing engineers to evolve the engine piece by piece. The digital electronic engine control systems, first introduced in the 1980s, provide a sophisticated foundation for integrating modern hypersonic control technologies, the same systems that give the Thunderbirds the confidence to fly mere inches apart. From a business perspective, the choice of the F-100 is equally compelling. While current hypersonic missiles cost upwards of $106 million each for single-use weapons, Hermes aims to produce reusable aircraft at a similar price point. The proven technology minimizes development risks, with successful mode transition already demonstrated in November 2022. An established spare parts network ensures sustainable operations, leveraging billions in existing infrastructure investment. However, the transformation of the F-100 into a hypersonic power plant presents three fundamental challenges. First is the integration of Hermia's proprietary pre-cooling system, which must chill intake air from supersonic temperatures down to manageable levels before it enters the engine core. This system is critical for the F-100 to operate efficiently beyond Mach 2, where air compression alone would create temperatures that could compromise engine performance. Second is the material science hurdle, developing components that can withstand sustained temperatures above 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, far beyond the F-100's original design parameters of around 1,000 degrees during standard military operations. And finally, the most ambitious challenge lies in the Chimera engine's dual-mode operation. The engineering team must effectively create two engines in one, maintaining the F-100's proven turbofan capabilities while seamlessly integrating a ramjet system. This integration requires a complete reimagining of the engine's core systems, from digital controls to fuel delivery methods, all working in harmony to enable sustained flight above Mach 4 by 2026. As Mark Von Nita, Pratt & Whitney's F-100 program chief engineer with 40 years of experience, explains, there's a sweet spot in the design and the size, weight, and thrust class of this engine that fits very well. It's in the sweet spot where success is a possibility. This balance between proven capability and future potential is what makes the F-100 unique. Future applications, success with the F-100's hypersonic transformation could revolutionize both military and civilian aviation. Through the Dark Horse program, Hermes aims to create a 45-foot autonomous aircraft powered by two side-by-side -side Chimera engines, designed specifically for military operations at speeds exceeding Mach 5. Parallel to this, the Air Force Research Laboratory's Mayhem program seeks even higher speeds using scramjet technology, with Hermes' F-100 innovations potentially influencing this more ambitious development. On the civilian front, Hermes envisions Halcyon, a 20-passenger commercial aircraft that could transform global travel. Flying from New York to Paris in just 90 minutes, Halcyon could tap into a market that currently sees half a million business travelers annually, potentially adding more than $4 trillion to global GDP through accelerated commerce and cultural exchange. From powering undefeated F-15s and F-16s to enabling the next generation of hypersonic flight, the F-100 continues to push the boundaries of what's possible. After 50 years of service, it's not just surviving, it's helping to reshape the future of aviation. Sometimes, the best way to reach the future is to build on the foundations of the past, and with the F-100, those foundations are rock solid.